In this video, we'll introduce the idea of infinite limits. And in spite of the name, infinite limits aren't real limits. There are specific way that a limit might fail to exist. Let's investigate this via example. The limit as x approaches 3 of 4 divided by x minus 3 squared. Now this is a rational function, but 3 is not in its domain. So we can't use continuity to evaluate this limit. Let's investigate it on Desmos. Here's our function, and we'll create a table of values. And we'll let x approach 3. And we'll see what happens. And what appears to be happening is that as x approaches 3, f of x is just getting larger and larger. It's going to infinity. And that's true if we approach 3 from the right as well. The closer we get to 3, the larger f of x is getting. So clearly this limit doesn't exist. f of x is not approaching a finite number. And we have a way of writing that. We say that the limit is equal to infinity. Yeah. Reiterating something I just said, I know we've written that the limit equals something, but this limit does not exist. So this notation says that the limit doesn't exist, but it doesn't exist in a specific way. This infinity symbol is signed. It represents positive infinity. It could also be that f of x approaches negative infinity. Let's keep this example. But let's put a negative sign in front. And let's go over to Desmos. And now as x approaches 3, you see that this function is getting smaller and smaller. That is, it's getting very large in magnitude, but in the negative direction. And we'll say that this limit is negative infinity. Because this represents infinity, and this represents negative infinity, we have to be careful with this notation. Let's look at the limit as x approaches 3 of 4 divided by x minus 3. So we've gotten rid of the square. And here's the function. And here's part of our table. And from what you see of the table, you'd say, well, as x approaches 3, 
f of x approaches negative infinity. The closer we get to three, the larger in magnitude this becomes. So we might be tempted to write to that. However, if we were approaching three from the other direction, that is to say, if instead of approaching three from the left, we approached three from the right, we'd look at f of x and see that it was approaching positive infinity. And we might be tempted to, instead of this, write to that. Which of these is correct? Well, neither of them. All we can say here is that the limit does not exist. One final, well, one final comment in this video. These infinite limits are closely related to vertical asymptotes. If we have an infinite limit, that will appear graphically as a vertical asymptote, either infinity or negative infinity. Let's go back to Desmos and let's put the square back. So now we have a limit of infinity, whether we're approaching three from the right or from the left. As x approaches three, f of x flows up to infinity. And you see this is represented graphically by a vertical asymptote at x equals three. If we put a negative sign here, this limit will become negative infinity. And we still have a vertical asymptote. We have a pseudo converse to this. If we have a vertical asymptote, it doesn't mean we have an infinite limit. What having a vertical asymptote does mean is that the one-sided limits are either infinity or negative infinity.